we will issue a very comprehensive statement and plan tomorrow with details of other activities that will happen between tomorrow and Saturday 30th. But uh, I would like, on behalf of my colleagues in the National Steering Committee who are here, to observe that members of the public need to be informed that for those who are in Nairobi who would like to visit with the family, this will have to happen on Tuesday and Wednesday at President Kibaki's Nyari office. We are going to provide the details and the map to the office, and this is where any of those, especially uh, members of the diplomatic corps and any senior members of the public who may wish to visit the family or to convey their condolences in person to the family, they would go to the Nyari office uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, details of which we will give. We are going to set up a facility at the Odaya CDF office in Nyeri for members of the public because that office is centrally located in town and it will afford members of the public and the leaders from uh, that part of our country an opportunity to also visit, uh, sign a condolence book and pay their respects. But uh, effective Monday afternoon, there will be uh, condolences uh, signing uh, in very many public offices. We are going to put up a condolence book in the two houses of parliament, Senate and the National Assembly, government ministries. There will be one right here at Harambe House. Uh, members of the diplomatic corps can also visit and sign at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because there will be a condolence book there. We will also distribute by Tuesday morning condolence books to all our county headquarters uh, for leaders and members of the public across the country to visit and deliver their condolences in writing. We'll also have condolence books in our regional headquarters across the country from Tuesday morning. So on uh, my own behalf, on behalf of um, my colleagues in the National State Funeral Steering Committee, including the members of the family of His Excellency President Mwai Kibaki, who have joined us this morning, once again, we would like to continue to pray for the nation, pray for the country during this difficult time, and pray that the Lord strengthens all of us, and especially the family of our beloved retired President Kibaki during this uh, difficult uh, moment. And finally, uh, reiterate a commitment of the government, as uh, was outlined by His Excellency our President yesterday, that uh, President Kibaki will be given uh, a state send-off with the highest honors because of the distinct service he rendered to our country. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us. All right, uh, the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi speaking there on behalf of the National Funeral Steering Committee for the late retired President Mwai Kibaki. He says the public only have Tuesday and Wednesday to sign condolence books either at his Nairobi office, saying those who will have access to Na his Nairobi office are eminent personalities, uh, uh, but the residents of Odaya, which is his rural home, will have occasion to do so at the Odaya CDF office. We will 
be replaying you that press briefing um, in a short while. But basically, the National Funeral Steering Committee has given a very brief statement saying a more comprehensive statement will be delivered at a later date. Now, uh, yesterday, President Uhuru Kenyatta um, did provide... Uh, give certain directions as far as state honors are concerned he talked about the uh, the flags being flown at half mast until uh, the late uh, president emilio mwai kibaki is interred uh, and also that the government vehicles for the president his deputy and the chief justice will not fly their flag as uh, a in a way to honor uh, the late uh, retired President Emilio Mwai Kibaki. So we will replay you that press briefing given by the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi on when uh, the late retired Emilio Mwai Kibaki will be laid to rest.